Today we're going to look at Opinium through the eyes of Jordan Johnson, who represents a prospect, customer, or learner, but could also be a member or volunteer. Basically, anyone choosing to interact with your brand that is not an employee or a partner. Jordan will primarily be using Opinium for the use cases here on our content enablement platform wheel, including people enablement, but also here in service enablement. Jordan may not know what Salesforce is. She may or may not be technical. She could be a new customer or very experienced. Jordan might be looking at what to buy. She might be implementing your product and be responsible for the utilization of your product. She also might be creating cases or support tickets. The list could go on and on. Jordan wants information and knowledge. She wants support from your organization. Ultimately, she wants to be successful. Jordan wants to see her progress whether through traditional learning or consuming content. She needs to ensure she is in compliance with certifications, and she wants to see usage rates increase. So what will be in this demo? You will see that Jordan will find what she wants to make purchasing decisions, such as sales and marketing materials. You'll see how she can use Opinium for onboarding, getting certifications, accessing live classes, and even purchasing learning. Jordan's experience will include accessing on-demand content, gamification, and the ability to collaborate. And finally, she will be able to harness the power of media to improve her success, such as submitting a case using video to case or accessing video embedded into knowledge articles. So let's take a peek at her experience. You can see here, this is what Salesforce calls the experience cloud or the customer community, which is fully configurable, fully brandable. You can see clearly it doesn't look like Salesforce, but regardless, the goal is still the same. Make sure the right person has the right content when and where they need it. So we can do that a multitude of ways. The traditional learning experience is where Jordan can come to see the content that she's been assigned, maybe browse for additional learning, see the badges that she's earned, and she can start clicking into these traditional learning experiences and progressing through them. So this is a certification plan. You can see it should take about an hour and she can see exactly what this entails and she can start progressing through the learning. Inside it can have really all types of learning, e-learning, video, PDF, uh, tasks she needs to complete. Maybe there's knowledge articles outside of the system, uh, quizzes, classes that she needs to physically or virtually attend. So you can start building out the structured learning with all different types of learning. She can also see what other equivalencies there are. So if she doesn't want to complete this entire plan, maybe there's an equivalency that she can take instead. Uh, it's fully localized, so she sees the learning related to her in her local language. But you can see it's very clear, here's what I need to do to earn this certificate. Jordan can also come in and browse for learning. So she can either be assigned for learning or she can come in and self-select the learning. Here she can see all the learning related to this specific topic. She can launch it right from here. She can browse other topics. She can filter. Uh, you can have e-commerce on top of it. So if you want specific customers to pay for specific learning, you can do that. We have the full e-commerce solution tied to learning with specific pricing and account-based pricing. Uh, couponing, uh, all of those things related to e-commerce to make sure Jordan purchases the learning that she needs to complete. And next to that online learning is also those outside or virtual classes, what we call events and classes. So here Jordan can see all the classes that she is supposed to see based on who she is. And she can start registering for the classes that she's interested in. On the right, you can also see here's the recordings of those classes. So the ones that have happened in the past, you can upload those recordings and then track which way Jordan is choosing to interact. Is she registering for in-person? Is she registering for virtual? Is she watching the recordings after they happen? And now you know how to target content to her in the future. She could even subscribe to this catalog. So any upcoming classes that she has access to, maybe she can't physically attend, but as soon as that recording comes in, she gets notified and she can watch the recording of the class that just happened. 
And all of this can tie back and be powered by the certifications and the badges and the gamification. So here Jordan can see the badges that she's acquired. So she's a, a Pathfinder, but she can also see additional badges that she might be able to earn. And she can register for those and start working towards earning those. So here she can see exactly how she acquired this badge, when she acquired it. There might be recertification process. Maybe this expires after a year or two. So you can set up that recertification plan for her. But it's very clear what she's intending to do, what she's supposed to do, and what she's actually doing. So that's the traditional learning experience. Then you can start to overlay that with the on-demand experience. So if Jordan comes into the videos, she can have that more consumerized experience of your content. These might still be videos, they might be e-learning, they might be PowerPoints, but here she can browse, just like on a consumer website, browse for content that she's interested in and watch that video right here. Still fully tracked next to everything else. So if this video is part of that certification plan that we showed earlier, she won't have to watch it again. She already watched it during the YouTube experience, now she's gonna be able to have that progress still associated with her during the traditional learning experience. On this video, you can see she can start to pin it and create her channels. She can rate it. She can share it internally or externally. There can be a thread related to it. So a lot of social uh, pieces tied to this video for Jordan as well. And then as you start to structure that content, you can structure it as individual videos. You can structure it as catalogs of videos or you can structure it as playlists of videos. And here you can see Jordan again can subscribe. She can go through this process. So similar to that learning plan where she's going through the steps that you want her to do, but now in that playlist experience, still tracking, she's still learning, she's still getting the content you want her to receive, but now through a fully different experience that she might be more likely to interact with. But it might not just be pushing content to users or letting them register for content. It might also be collecting content from your users. So here there's a challenge coming up where your customers can submit videos. So right here they can submit, they can upload or record a video. And now you have that content to use across your customer base. If you wanna make this public, if you wanna share this internally with how customers are starting to leverage your products, you now have the power of this video created by your customer right side by side with all your other content. Another use case for your customer submitting video is what we call video case. So if you think about the support process, customers type a lot of information. Your support team probably tries to replicate the issue that they're having. Maybe they're not on the same type of machine. Maybe they can't replicate it. Now the customer right here can submit a video of the issue that they're seeing and real time, this will open the support case and the video will be associated with that case. So when your support team goes in to review the case, they're gonna see the video front and center and they can respond with the video. So now your entire support process, your support workflow is centered around video rather than typing in emails back and forth and, and trying to replicate and trying to see what the customer is seeing. Now you can see it real time because all of this is powered by video. So that is Jordan Johnson in a nutshell. Again, there are tons of different ways you can configure this. We have customers that every, every customer community looks different. Every workflow is different, but now video can be the front and center of it. Whether it's traditional learning, whether you're selling learning, whether you're certifying your customers, whether you're just supporting your customers through the support process, video, learning, and content now becomes the centerpiece of that.